Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Ease for the Mask of the Sun. Last time, we made it to this fundamentalist, weird mountain village where everybody worships God, but everybody is mean as hell to outsiders. And they also have this uh, thing for the Storm Veil where they don't want anybody entering the place because it's sacred for some reason. And apparently, Lisa, who sent the message in the bottle, is sacred as well. Only she can enter the Storm Veil. So yeah, right here is where we got kind of like knocked out last time. So if you head over here to the left, then we can actually, you know, enter the Storm Veil. Apparently we face up after going left. But don't go in here, because those guys will kill you. Yeah, you're not supposed to come back there for quite some time. So don't worry about that right now. We really don't know where we're supposed to go, we're just kind of supposed to explore. Which is fine with me. I mean, that's how JRPGs were back then. Just kind of wander around, see what's there to see, and explore. Hey, hey! And by doing so, we get a topaz. Which we can't really use right now, but it's there. Okay, so just move on right through here. Kill whatever you come across if you care about it, and head on inside this cave. Now... This place isn't exactly what I would call an inspired dungeon. And what I mean by that is, it's very straightforward, and if you have a branching path, you go inside the very first path that you see, you get whatever treasure there is, and then you continue on going through the very next path that you see. This pattern will continue through the entirety of the dungeon. Yeah. So whenever I talk about uninspired dungeons inside of some of my reviews, it's stuff like this that I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, there's a new enemy in here, and we will be grinding for this new enemy, but not right now. There's a better grinding spot coming up. Right here, what we want to do is head to the right, and uh, yeah, another new enemy. We'll be grinding plenty, but I want to wait for that nice grinding spot. Here we get an Ice Key 1. There will be an Ice Key 2. Too, because God forbid they come up with, you know, a unique name for these keys. Just keys one and two, like, seriously? I don't know. Uninspired dungeons and uninspired item names. Yeah. Might as well go, uh, go for it. If you're gonna be uninspired, hey, be uninspired all the way. Yeah. Okay, to complement our flame shield, we get some flame armor. You probably didn't have to buy the third tier of armor, um, considering, you know, we just bought it last episode and we're already getting an upgrade this episode, and we really didn't have, like, a boss or anything between the two times. So, yeah, but I had plenty of money, so I felt, eh, whatever, we'll go ahead and buy it. Now, out here, if you need to, you can stop, stand, and heal. So this makes for a very, very good grinding spot coming up. And that little white thing right there is a switch. You switches to open doors. Nice! Now here is where I want to grind. So I'm going to be going in here, grinding. Um, I want, I'm at level 12 right now. I want to get up to level 14. So I'm going to do that right here. If I need to heal, I'm just going to walk outside, heal, and come back in. So I'm going to meet you in a room at 14. Okay, I've made my way here. I am now at level 14. And uh, all the other levels that we've had, at least recently, have been 400 experience to get to the next level. Now that has gone up, and it is currently 800 experience to get to the next level. And these guys only give me one experience point each. So, yeah, it's pretty much the game is telling you, hey, don't grind here anymore. Um, it's not going to do you any good. So this area, this ice area, is just as uninspired as the previous area. They're technically, like, both one cave, like an ice mountain cave, but, yeah, they look different to me. And just like the topaz that we got earlier, here we have a sapphire, which we also cannot really do anything with quite yet. So we'll just have to keep that in mind for later in the game. That'll help with some magical swords that we'll be getting eventually. Okay, so just go on back here. And yeah, do try to avoid these monsters if at all possible, because all they're going to do is suck down your health, and one experience point is completely not worth, um, not worth going after them for, so don't worry about it. Okay, so yeah, if you see any branching paths, again, you're going to want to take the first one, 
grab the treasure. Now we get a thousand gold. Not that I really need that, but hey, it's there. Go down the next path, right in order, of course. And here we get Ice Key 2. It's like the trifecta of uninspiredness. We have the uninspired dungeons, the uninspired item names, and the flame armor and flame shield. Like, really? Seriously, game? Seriously? I don't know. Are we going to get a flame sword next? Eh, more than likely. Although, wouldn't you think that you would get an ice sword in an ice area? I mean, that's kind of the way that they do things in these games. It's kind of odd that we're getting the opposite armor and weapons in, um, than, than the dungeon. You know what I mean? Ah, no. Anyway, go on over here, and hey, here we have the Emberwind Sword. At least it's not the Flame Sword. I mean, it, well, kind of might as well be the Flame Sword. But this sword is special. It is the first magical sword that we have. So what you want to do now, we can actually use our MP, turn around and shoot fire at these guys. So yeah, that's very nice to have. Bam! Die, bitch, die! Yeah, so that comes in pretty handy. Um, and you shoot fire just by, sh by hitting the uh, Y button on your controller. You'll be fine. Oh, I probably should have saved before I came inside this boss room, but honestly, this is like the easiest boss ever! Okay, so here we have the Ice Golem. Whenever he's purple, you can't touch him, so yeah, don't worry about it. What you want to do is blast the crap out of this guy um, whenever he turns blue. Yeah, I've already gotten him down to like, you know, no HP at all. And there he is. He's dead. Like, seriously. It's that easy. The guy is a joke. Okay, so yeah, let's just continue on with life over here. We get another thousand gold, which I don't need, and I also don't care about. We also get a healing point over here. Yeah, if you need to, you can stop. You're outside. You can heal up. And uh, that will come in very handy very shortly. Well, what's this place? Huh. That little indentation there on the pyramid kind of reminds me of um, Robin, the... Um, the, uh, the demon from Dawn of Ease. Oh, sorry. You know Adol, he's a mute. Well, actually, not in this game. He's pretty chatty in this game. Gazok, huh? Oh. Okay, do you know anything? Can you tell us anything? Huh, an advanced civilization. Well, as we all know, all ancient civilizations are much more advanced than the modern day. Of course. What? What jewel? I have a bunch of jewels now. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, the Eye of the Sun. I thought you were talking about the topaz or the sapphire. Oh. Oh, do you know Karna? Huh, small world. Rahahahili! <laughs> oh. Yeah, that relief that we saw in, like, the very first episode of the game. Oh. Yeah, they talked about a, uh, yeah, a lake going blood red. Oh, lovely. Yeah, why not? Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and we got another new item, the pickaxe, which was very useful in Dawn of Ease. Not so much in this game, but eh, whatever. Okay. Oh, another jewel. Oh, the Eye of the Earth. Huh. Okay, yeah, we'll keep him in mind for later, and if you speak to him again, he'll just repeat everything that he just said, so there's no reason to to uh, waste time talking to him. Anyway, let's uh, keep on going. Let's see what we can't find down here. Huh, it's kind of all locked off. Hmm, I wonder where I need to go. Well, let's see. If it's anything to go by, yeah. Another 
uninspired area, just continue heading to the right, automatically use your pickaxe, don't even have to equip it, and head on inside to another ice cave. But here we have some more new enemies. And yeah, these guys are now giving eight experience. So I'm gonna spend some time here and level up to level 15 and meet you then. Okay, I've gotten that one level taken care of. And now I can um, destroy these guys in like one hit and they barely deal any damage to me. And we get healing points like out the yin yang in this part of the cave. And this part of the cave is really small. So it's kind of strange why they give you so many healing points, and then earlier in the cave they didn't give you any at all. Right here are some more enemies that are new that actually give decent experience, and I'm going to be leveling up to level 16 between episodes on those guys right there. I'm not going to do it right now, um, because we've already cut so many times just with grinding. I feel like I'll just do that between episodes right there, so whenever I catch you next time, I will be... Um, level 16 instead of 15 right now. Oh, yeah, actually, it really kind of does. It looks like the water effects in Final Fantasy VI. Hmm, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Oh, hey there. This is uh, Gazok's wife, I guess. Yeah, are you alright? Well, you are coughing. That's like the kiss of death in JRPGs. Oh. Okay, but can we find Gazok and rescue his wife? find out next time and let's play ease for mask of the sun this has been david if you like this please like comment and subscribe and have a good day